Just hold on, man. Peh. So, guys, I've been, you know, my biceps have been growing. I want to show you guys a little bit of gym footage of me training them a little bit. A little bit the way that I'm doing it now. You know, trying to focus on a lot of the outer head to get that peak. If you guys notice my biceps, not much peak to them. They're getting bigger, but you see, notice there's not that much peak. Something you could do is try to hit more of the outer heads, which is going to be this head right here. And these are a couple exercises that you could try to help you hit that that little outer head. You know, I've been trying to target that for years, but then I always lose track of it and I always forget. And I always end up hitting more of the inner, never focusing on that peak. And now that I'm bulking, guys, I'm pretty sure they're going to get really big. You know, right now they're probably over 16 and a half flex just the fact that I have a little bit of fat on them but the goal is to get to 18s 18s by maybe 2015 springtime somewhere around there hopefully that way when I cut down maybe they're at 17s the lowest lean that's a pretty good size especially for my height 5'8 but besides that trying to keep everything 12 reps I know there's a lot of bodybuilders that like to use high reps like Arnold used to like use to high reps you know, Ulysses Jr. likes to use high reps and, and somewhere around the 15, 20 range. So I'm going to keep it around 12. Give that a try. It's something I never tried before. And I tried that today. And I'm going to tell you, man. Oh, my God. That shit feel good. Your body, is everything starts hurting, burning. I feel like I can get a better workout using that range. It's just a lot harder. Didn't even have to lower the weight that much. I lowered it down by like 5 pounds. So getting in more quality reps. And a more effective workout. So give me that a try, see how that works out, and of course you guys keep following me, show you guys my progression, see if it's, if it's working out pretty good, and that's basically it, guys. Right now I'm gonna show you my my exercises at the gym, as you can see. So basically I use you know close grip, trying to focus on that head. I was trying to reach 12 reps on this one, but I wasn't able to. And then I superset with reverse curls. That hits a lot of the forms, even though I try to focus lifting it with my biceps, but you still get your form workout there. And then after that exercise, I went over to the incline bench, did a little bit of reverse incline curls, and that really targets, you know, that peak head. That's the exercise that I, had, I just started using today. Just the fact that, that I want to use that one to hit, focus on the peak. And I never tried it, and I heard it's a really good exercise, so I'm trying that. I'm already trying incline dumbbell curls. I know a lot of you guys seen that that video. If you if you don't mind, just go check out that video. I have other tips and other workouts you guys could check. I'm not gonna make this one too long. Just the fact that I already made a bicep workout video. This is just a couple more tips. And then after that, do a little bit of you know hitting the forms basically. Hit a dumbbell and hit it sideways, I'm trying to target that the outer head of the bicep and a little bit of forgot the muscles called whatever but it does help your form a lot so this is one of the one of the exercises Phil Heath actually uses to to finish up but yeah I know what you guys are gonna say well, yeah but he's on steroids it doesn't count everybody uses their techniques with steroids or no steroids you gotta have a technique to to build that muscle make that muscle bigger make it different than everybody else's and that's one of the techniques that I'm going to start using. I've been using it, actually. That's why my forms are pretty decent. And I got a lot of guys asking me what I do for forms. That's one of the exercises. I really don't have a separate day for forms. Besides, you know, just really hold with the barbells. I squeeze really tight. Like deadlifts, pull-ups, stuff like that. And I get a pretty good workout already with that. And then, that's basically it, guys. All you have to do after that is just go back home, train hard, eat your Wheaties. Take your steroids if you have to, and you're going to grow. But don't take steroids. Don't do that. Unless, of course, it's part of your job or something. You know, you have a career in bodybuilding, and you need to be big, whatever. And that's basically it, guys. Just don't hate the game. Hate your genetics, man. I hate my genetics for my biceps. But I don't hate the game, man. got to put in that hard work if you want to grow. That's what I'm trying to do. Whatever, yo. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.